now we were in dangerous territory, vulnerable to unexpected attack if we did not succeed in our drive. But luck was with us. There was the striped killer. And to our amazement with him, His Majesty, the King of Beasts, over a quarter of a ton of fierce fighting machinery. A tiger and a lion, snarling rivals for jungle supremacy, had been caught together in the circle. Both champions of their kind, evenly matched in size and weight. The tiger's unexpected attack takes the lion by surprise. His Majesty's fury is aroused. The Indian lion fears nothing that lives. Only victory or defeat can stop him now. Tiger tries to escape up the side of the pit, but there is no escape now. The two are destined to uphold the law of the jungle. Then they meet in a fight to the finish. Exhausted, the tiger gives up. He has fought his best against the roaring monster. And then as the lion rushes to another attack, the tiger with every ounce of strength left in his tired body rises up and meets his enemy with fang and claw. Hunters and crows alike had witnessed a tragedy seldom, if ever, seen by man before. A lion-tiger fight to the finish in the heart of India's dense jungle. Because the tiger had put up such a splendid fight, the Raja ordered him pulled out of the pit and caged so his wounds could be attended. The victor and still king of the jungle.